Now, the wildfire broke out Thursday morning on a roadside in Kosong County on South Korea's east coast. Our one Jung Hwan is near the scene, so let's go straight to him and get the latest. So, Jung Hwan, tell us what's happened so far. How big is the fire and how did it start? Hi, Devin. A devastating wildfire has engulfed in the northeastern side of the country. And I'm right here at the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures headquarters in Kusong to get the latest update. Over the night, uh, the fire spread to 18 different sites, burning around 380 hectares of forest so far and destroying at least 300 houses, houses and buildings. The authorities are trying to figure out the exact cause of the fire, but as far as we know right now, it might have been a spark from electrical wires. The fire quickly spread throughout the region, fanned by strong winds and dry air, affecting Kosong, where I am, as well as Inje, Sokcho and Gangneung. The main fire near Kosong and Sokcho was put out at around 9.40 in the morning, and 80% of fire in Inje has been extinguished. But they're having some trouble in Gangneung, and that's why most of the helicopters have headed there, except for the four uh, remaining right here. Right. Uh, a lot of resources deployed there, including those helicopters. Uh, give us a better idea of the scale of the effort there in Gangwondo. Sure. Uh, just a few hours ago, Prime Minister Inagen have visited the site right here to inspect the situation and to take all-out measures to put out the fire. The, this is the biggest firefighting force that Korea's ever deployed. The headquarters of all major regions have sent fire trucks, specifically half of the available forces of Seoul, Incheon, Daejeon, Gyeonggi-do provinces of, and other regions and a third of the forces of Busan, Ulsan, South Cholado province and other areas as well. The fire agency issued a top-level alert, which is for fires that affect the entire nation, reflecting the seriousness of the situation. But people in the area have been told to evacuate to nearby shelters as soon as possible due to the strong winds and the fires that are still burning. Back to you, Devin.